<laughs> Alright, people, welcome back. More D&D commentary. So, once again, we are joined by uh, Mr. Mal himself. Hello, guys. Hello. No ignorant intro from me. No guys. ignorant intro? You're not gonna fucking show Stanzi up? <laughs> nope. <laughs> he wouldn't. Alright. So, we have Biggles here at 11.38 in Nyakt? Natak? Natak. Natak. Attack! 1019. You see Biggles here just starting with the anti-meta. Like, hello? Why? Hello? False Dina. False Dina. Look at that price. I can't even see it. It's not pulling up for me. How much is it? It's not pulling up for you? Uh. 8 plus. Jesus Christ, why? <laughs> I don't know. Who the fuck is playing False Dina nowadays? Like, I'm oh. more confused of why he just, you know, summoned it and then, like, that. I, I guess. guess just to completely lock him out. He, I guess he's uh, assuming that his back row is going to be able to protect the Fossil Diner, so might as well go ahead and normal summon it and then prevent special summons in general and set it and then uh, possibly destroy something when you flip, but possibly not. But wow. Um, right. Wow. Oh, oh my okay. God. Where are you going with this? This guy, he's just, he's just like, nah. How about no special summoning at all? Don't even think about it. Think about it. Like, all right. Like I said, I hope that your back row, Biggles, I hope that your back row can walk it down. You got a lot of experience. Like, look at that. 2,338. So, <laughs> I thought you'd be running a little bit, something a little bit more meta-inducing. So, we see the uh, Luster Pendulum go ahead and kill... The barrier statue, the the powerful, the expensive. <laughs> oh, well, it's, it's price is only gonna go up. Like it's only gonna go up. I'm more confused on why he summoned it and then you know, Hello? what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> so that's plus 25. So this false down is literally 3,700. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> no way. Oh my Yo. god. The top deck is real. Get wrecked. <laughs> it makes sense why he summoned the statue if he was going to get destroyed regardless. Like, I don't see the point in that, but you know, I'm not the high, a high rated player, so I wouldn't know. I don't know, but holy crap. So he's going to go ahead and do the minus 3,700 and add. Yeah. I don't blame you. That math was a little bit difficult there. <laughs> he's small. Holy crap. Top deck that right, Geki. Just do it. Yeah, you. You have to. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wow, Biggles hella top deck. <laughs> That's a hell of a rip. Holy crap. Just turn that front yeah. turn that fossil dino into a fossil monster, like <laughs> oh, oh, you're gonna lose some of your attack. Yeah. Oh, now you're only down to you're only thirty two. I mean only thirty two and uh preventing stuff to summon. I mean, it's bad enough that uh Vandy's being huh. at that twenty four and you can't set some but thirty two oh no never mind, going back up to thirty seven. <laughs> Wow, so this is how you beat Pepe, everyone. Yep, yep, this is how you beat Pepe. You summon that fossil down and equip it with a mage power to hold one back row. This is how you beat the Pepe. <laughs> he can do shit. Wow, he this man can literally not do shit. I mean, do you not run any back row at all? Oh, Pepe should at least run down. It depends on the type of Pepe. I you know if it's Magician Pepe, they probably don't run as much back row. Damn. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Crazy! Wow, Biggles just stalled him out. Like, really? I mean, Tack, did you? Re you probably could have stalled out for a little bit longer, and maybe Dream T or Gaki. You know, yeah. maybe even MST or something along those lines. Like, I think it was a little bit too early to be scooping it up. That's just yeah, me personally. Old fashioned caveman, you get right there. Yep. Then he's like, "We're gonna take a caveman style. Whoever start, someone's the strongest monster wins. I win." <laughs> 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 and take any fucking skill at all. Did not. Jesus Christ. Wow. 
well, at least it's not Cosmo as everyone. I mean, you can't be mad about that. Yeah. Okay. okay. The, the dislikes are definitely slowed down. Uh, when I it seems like when I don't turn on that you can view the dislike, they don't dislike. It's uh, like they, it's like they need the satisfaction of seeing the dislike bar to dislike, and if they don't get that satisfaction, they don't dislike. Oh, so they literally immature children. It really seems like it. It's like you get yeah. off on that dislike. Like you hit that button, you're just like, ah, oh, yeah, look at that dislike bar. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm going to shoot my fucking jizz on the mouse and it's going to click the dislike button. <laughs> oh my god. Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow, so, Tag, after what just happened to you, you're really going to take it slow with only a set. Like, you... Another fucking fossil down <laughs> Yeah, I saw another fucking fossil down here and set all that back up equipped with another mage power and fuck you up. Like, wow. Wow, <laughs> you're actually going <laughs> to... Is he just running all of, all of them? Just all of them? I guess so. Wow, so barrier statue, Regeki. You ain't getting shit. Wow, hello. What? Star Seros with the pet pants? Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> oh, Don't <man>. do it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. God. Wow. 3,000 barrier statue drought. Like, holy crap. Oh, my God. <laughs> This is actually getting ridiculous. Yo, Bigel, you 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 are a lord. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alright, well, there's Denko Seka. So oh. Denko can't be activated. Maybe you got an honest or something? I mean wait, was he gonna play Solemn Morning? Damn, Denko Seka's still kind of expensive too. Oh nope, Book of Moon. Uh, uh -huh. Not bad. That's how you handle this duel. Sit down, mm -hmm. attack over, no back row. That's probably game. That's probably game. Not bad. Denko Stucka is still like 18 plus. That's Didn't she get a reprint too? I think so. Wow. It's still a really good card. I mean, don't understand. Don't underestimate the power of Denko Rekka. Yu-Gi-Oh is just too expensive, dog. It's too expensive. Of Especially, and this is even before freaking, uh... Breaker of Meta comes out. Oh, man. It's not Bosch, that's... it's Boom. And and that's... and Boom yeah, Boom, that's the sound of your boom. brain exploding when you see the car prices. <laughs> I think the boxes are already going for a lot. Like some of them are already pre ordered notes for like maybe ninety eight, ninety ish dollars. That's crazy. I mean with the with the reprint rarities and just all the juiciness in there, I like I said I would not be surprised. Yeah, you know, I see pre-order prices of Infinity being like seventy-five dollars. I can easily see notice or what's it called? Solemn knot. I don't know. Yeah. I hate Konami's name changes. It's so fucking stupid. Yeah, they changed his name to Solemn knot. I can easily see that card being like a hundred dollars plus. Yeah. What the hell is he? Oh, okay. Wow, Deltarus. Don't you get some kind of effect? No, no, that's up there. You don't get yeah. nothing for using sovereignty. You just have to, it just has to be a, a key monster that requires three more key materials, so. Alright. Time to go pop some macro. No, I know you're not getting that, <laughs> using that Danko Seca. <laughs> I said Danko Seca is winning you this duel right now. So is it just like the battle to the top deck? Like, did he just top deck Danko Seca and it was like, I got this. Where where are you counting from? Wow, Moon <laughs> uh, like th right. this this guy is how I was fucking playing um uh Magic Spectre. <laughs> yeah, did Zoom be a show? Mage Fire, just be a dick. Just be a dick, just be a dick. Like I said, if I That's wasn't crazy. absolutely just done with Yu Gi Oh, I'd probably try to pick up Magic Spectres. But Oh like, no, fuck this, I don't fucking know. Hell no. Like I oh, said, dude, I'm not playing. Okay. You can't, you can't play fucking Yu Gi Oh like that. It's just, it's too Don't expensive and too dirty. Like, what's the point of playing when fucking Pepe is just gonna go first turn, kaka pee pee poo poo, absolutely wreck you on first turn? 
Like, yeah, let me just yeah. go ahead and uh, route an A and search out notice and warning and all that and summon infinity. And then summon infinity and set, like, th three notices and a fucking warning. Go ahead. Good luck. <laughs> Good fucking luck. <laughs> Oh, good luck. All right. Yeah, he just moves. <laughs> so, what's the point of running the snake? I suppose you can target one who faces a monster against during an attack for each before a pal card you can chill to any turn. So, something gains an additional 300 attack. Ooh. It's know. also searchable by Shinnister Wind. Easy scale, so you know. Oh, that's why you run it. Okay, I guess. That kind of like that weird amount of synergy with like different cards. It's just like, wow. Yeah, Pepper is weird like that. It's just like it's just a particular, just these certain uh, set of cards that just happen to have synergy with each other. It's like this card goes in this card, top and goes in this card. It's like what the fuck? Like we haven't seen a deck this jury rigged since fucking Hat. <laughs> mm -hmm. And remember what happens to Hat. Like, enjoy your Pepe, because you know Konami hates. Oops, <laughs> Konami hates. Jerry Rig decks. They hate that that shit. They want archetypes. They want you to play with their mm -hmm. cosmos that they made you. They don't want you to make your own fucking shit. So enjoy it. Enjoy it. You're gonna get fucking wrecked on the upcoming list. It's gonna be enjoyable. Hopefully, or I mean, we would just feel like, eh, we can still make some money. So why not? Yeah. Like I said, individual cells. The deck is mostly individual cells. Like what? What in Pepe is set cells that you're gonna that Konami's really making money off of? Alright. Don't do it again. Is this guy just <laughs> running like triple of every barrier statue just to be a fucking dick? Like, I can't wow. It. wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> fucking Biggles. Biggles. <laughs> wow. Oh, there goes Denkaseka once again being able to clean up this shit. Like, no. No. Denkaseka, too strong. Yeah, that guy's like a too strong. That guy's like a boss ass bitch. And now he can't even summon a monster and just straight up equip it with the uh, mage power or anything. Maybe one of those set cards is something. Like that, summon another barrier statue and equip. Follow <laughs> yeah, over. Wow. <laughs> All right. I was, like I said, I was hoping that maybe he was going to have another barrier statue monster and then one of them set cards was just going to be another one of his mage powers or something. And just wreck, wreck the Denko Seka and have that uh, uh, anti spell fragrance as well. Uh, I'm so mad at oh. Like I said, I'm, I'm so mad at one of my ex friends. Wow. I freaking. Yeah, yeah, the Max season the anti spell fragrance. Mm -hmm. He never got back to me. He's like, he's ignoring me on Facebook. Like, dude, that's fucked up, oh, dude. Really? I let your girlfriend borrow my fucking cards and you're not gonna give them back? You have over $100 worth of shit. That's crazy. Is there any way you can actually contact him? No. He, 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 the team, he quit it. He quit the team wow. and no one's been in contact with him since. Alright, so we need to run up on that nigga. No, no, I'm gonna run up this <laughs> nigga and shoot him in the dick. Like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot him in his dick. His dick could hit the wall. <laughs> See, this is the reason why you can never join me in the videos. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this dog is too great. <laughs> Damn. Damn. So, uh, Denko Seka wins. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Denko Seka wins. GG. GG. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get another good one. That was interesting, uh, though. Yeah. Yep. Be right back. That was funny. <laughs> oh, that's a Lord of Pancakes. Lord of Pancakes, delicious. <laughs> Yum. Yum. Oh, oh, more PP. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and versus the waving variety. Venita, Venietta, Venietta, I guess. Eleven forty-one. Lord of Pancakes, four hundred one. So, uh, once again, some more Pepe pee pee pop poo poo caca pee pee deck. Their power. And it's not even at full power yet, people. Like, you're already seeing it, and it ain't even, you ain't even ready. Because I, I, I predict that the list is going to be in, uh, in March. So, uh, February 1st. I mean, of course, I'll go ahead and put my final talk, but I'm already working on it. I'm already working on the list, people. Like, that's how on the ball Daniel is. He's already working on his balance prediction. And I'm already seeing a couple of cards that I think are going to be hit. <laughs> 
or they could just put no CG and be like, no changes. Oh my god, I would, I would, you know what, I'm already quit Yu-Gi-Oh, but, <laughs> it's just like, holy shit. <laughs> like, how, how do you have any faith in this game, when fucking every single time, every single fucking time, Konami finds some way of shoving their fucking money dick in your asshole? Oh my god, that doesn't feel comfortable. <laughs> no, it, you will like it. My, my, hey, my I money. never agreed to this. Give Konami money. money. My, my, my money. <laughs> I said, I, it's ridiculous. I can't, I can't. Yeah. I'm, 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 I, I'm definitely saying that even if I wasn't really into Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, if I was just, just basic uh, player, up in this upcoming format uh, with breaker meta, I would have quit. There's a nice chunk of people who quit. I mean, you still got them tr try hard people that want that have to play the best deck all the time, no matter how much the money is. So you'll probably make some big out of that. But I think you're kind of uh, isolating some of your player base with how ridiculous everything is getting, especially when you have these unknown date balance. I think that's actually the key reason why everybody is quitting and leaving is because we don't know when you're gonna fix it. Oh, yeah. If we had like a definite date, like if you were like next list on March first, and, and you know people would be like, you know what, shit sucks, but at least I can hold out until March first. With this, I don't know if it's gonna be February, March, April, May, June. I don't fucking know. What? Never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe once fucking Konami gets out of their fucking uh their money pool, their fucking Scrooge McDuck in it, <laughs> maybe they'll get out and then uh, dry themselves off. <laughs> and uh, get down to making a list. <laughs> wow. So, uh, Pepe versus Blackwing. Like... Didn't we see fucking Blackwing beat Pepe's ass <laughs> last time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause he had every... Yeah, there's a lot of Blackwing things lately. Like, I'm, I'm sick of Blackwings, I swear to God. Like, Crow, I want you to go away forever. <laughs> I just want Blackwing to actually get support that, you know, it's beneficial instead of just be like, like here, just just cause here, like it just feels kind of pointless that if they get okay. Like I said he has an upcoming duel in the anime against uh, Yuya, so he'll probably go ahead and summon like ten more new black wings, and some of you go ahead and make them real cards. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, those black wings he used like the fucking show us so situational, it's like. The fuck? This is not even gonna be meta. What to say? I don't what? even know what. Say what? You gonna veil him, Lord of Pancakes? Like, is it even oh, worth man. it? <laughs> I don't know, but he was saying, hmm, as if he had like some kind of response. Like, what do you have to respond? Like, I would only think veil because if you had Maxi, you should have Maxi him a long fucking time ago. So, that's mm -hmm. not it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't believe that this mirror can go off during the player's turn. That's his fill effect, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's yeah. his fill effect, not his pendulum scale effect. I'm gonna get the extra normal, so I'm gonna get this. Wait. Yeah. Well, it's not once per turn. Oh, is it? No. No, it's just when black wing is normal summon. You would think it's once per turn just because of, uh. Uh, so you only get one normal summon generally, but nah. Nah, they did that on purpose. They're like, no, fine, give him additional normal summon effects, so can normal summon to get additional black, black whirlwind. Oh, oh yeah. So, Wait, really another part? Oh, okay. Hello. Yeah, so uh, Blizz is yeah, going to summon back the Bora and then search the Pinaki. Alright. Oh, what my the hell? Hello? Just... Hello? It's oh, John God. Cena! Oh, my God. <laughs> Thinking, Valor. Valor, if you. Oh, no. What are you thinking about? <laughs> you thinking how I'm gonna get wrecked? <laughs> uh, what are you bashing on the Uh, definitely. Oh, I mean, get rid of the plus fire, definitely. Because yeah. it doesn't matter if you banish the King of Firelimbs, because uh, damage dog will still. I mean, yeah, damage dog will still go great. That's given. So, oh, but that's a Oh, that's a that's a close one too. Yeah, luster is a good choice too. It's a tough choice, luster or plus fire. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, if you think about, it, I think luster offers too much more actual. Kind of an advantage. Yeah. Hmm. And then you're oh, just no. gonna go ahead and kill. Like, look at look at all of this. You trust him, and he's still good just because everybody's so good. Yeah. Damage Douglas too good. 
Plus fire are too good. I, mm, I can't wait to go ahead and put my banner prediction. <laughs> I can't wait to see some of these cards on this upcoming list. <laughs> this game is oh, getting... Please, sorry, please. Like I said, they just don't have enough floodgates. I'm, yeah. I'm, I've been practicing the deck, and it's just there's just not enough floodgates. You know, if I even if I had skill drain at first three still, and yeah, but it's just a struggle sometimes. I only have one skill drain, one vanity, and three loose one turns. It's not enough. <laughs> the rivalry of the warlords and um, those match teams would be like, oh my god, Nico Seca. Oh my god, Nico Seca too strong in this fucking uh, video. Denko Seka is getting her paycheck. Pay get this get this get this woman a fucking contract, alright? <laughs> Damn, blush fire. Only a dollar and twenty cents. Yeah, you're doing so much damage. Mm-hmm. Re fucking ridiculous. Everything is re fucking ridiculous. Oh, there's hat tricker. I mean hat tricker, trick clown. I thought he was gonna get a hat tricker. Nah, he's gonna oh. pendulum summon. Or does he have to wait for him? Five and three, yep. <laughs> and before mages, they're just like, summon five, summon three, all are four. Go ahead and summon everything. Yep. Fucking Dennis, I hate you. <laughs> you ruined Yu-Gi-Oh. Ruined it. What? Am I Vector Pendulum too? Damn, Vector is expensive too. What the hell? <laughs> Why? Why is everything expensive, man? These are pieces of fucking cardboard, people. Pieces of Don't fucking that. cardboard. Don't forget that man who took out a credit card just by necros. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. People be doing stupid fucking shit. Wasn't that one guy who was trying to fucking do a GoFundMe to make fucking Cosmos or something? Yeah. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Nigga, I can't even afford Cosmos. Why the fuck would I pay for you to get Cosmos? That make any fucking sense. I want people to take pay you and me. Man, I really want to play Cosmos, so if you can go ahead and pay for me to actually get Cosmos, then I'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> like, hey, random strangers, pay thousands, hundreds, and hundreds of dollars for me to play a fucking <laughs> trading card game. Stupid. Like, I already gave up faith in, like, trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh! competitive. But as, like, the meta continues to grow, continue to get more and more attention. Yep. Game continues to grow. Game continues to get more and more expensive. Okay. Like, it's like, why? So, XE, the... Flesh Fire and the uh, Trick Clown again. Go into Castell. Use Castell's first effect, which you don't see that often, to set the Trish by detaching the Plush Fire so you can keep the the Trick Clown and then attack over the Trish. Hmm. That's that's simple. That's simple. Attack over the Trish with 101. I got you. Is that what you're going to do? You still got a load of pancakes? That's it. Maybe Dark Rebellion? But then you have to oh, detach too. Good. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh. Why? Target the trash so it dies? No. Where are you going with this? You got honest in your hand? You're honest? Oh, mirror conductor. I forgot about him. Oh yeah. Yep. Got about that. So oh. oh. faster. What the heck? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you got low for a second. And damn. <laughs> All right, the Lord, damn. <laughs> <laughs> like I gotta, re <laughs> I would say I know. I would say I know that's not game. Yeah, I'd say like that's not fifty eight, is it? So one hundred twenty one, seventeen twenty five. Yeah, so he's not he's not done. I was like, wait, no, wait a minute. 
I wouldn't be surprised if he was done. You know. Mm. So, All uh, right. Go ahead and detach for me, because at the end of the battle phase. Avoid destruction. Yeah, avoid destruction. Wow, even 101, right. is, even 101 is more expensive than I would like it to be. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. It's still that price. I mean, it's, why is it even that? Oh, no, I don't everything. Know. Everything. Too expensive. Yu-Gi-Oh, too expensive. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm upset that you didn't finish him, because he could easily come back and wreck you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He still has the Blackwing plays. Mm-hmm. Then he searched him. Yeah, he searched him not be. Alright, and... Damn it, Dan, why can't I do this fucking graveyard? Mm -hmm. The Panaki's in his hand. Right. I'm trying to see what the he have. Like, he has a four. Nothing really can get him. I don't know. Alright. And do you have anything left? Yeah, I would not be surprised if he has anything left. Enough to come back with the sickness with black wings, wreck your entire field, and have that Icarus attack set. What do they, do they even play like anything? Oh, yeah, they play Winter Roshi. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, if only Crystal Meth was on here. Yeah, the powerful Crystal Meth. That would've been great. Mm -hmm. All right, Joe. So oh, Joe. Yeah, Joe. You forget about Joe because Joe's mm -hmm. really only good with like a song or something. Yep. And this fire was a special summon. So. Yeah, special summon period. So. Go ahead and burn you and minus something by 800. Not bad. Right. Yep. Yep, minus a tenth of a second. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, nah, I, I got everything. <laughs> we ain't done yet. Oh my god, he ain't done yet. No, he ain't done yet. I told you. I told you, damn. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you getting cut in half. Damn, he's gonna come back. Let's see if he. Yeah. Yep, yep. Who oh, this time? I thought. Oh, he is out. <laughs> oh shit! I did not know this guy was out. Damn, Rakiri, wreck your face! Oh, my God. Wreck your he's face, back. Rakiri, assault Blackwing style. Damn! Oh my he's God! Back. I didn't even know this guy was out. I really didn't. Wow. Yeah, he came out. I think last night he came up. Damn. Damn. Lord of Pancakes, if only you could have ended the duel. Lord <laughs> of Pancakes, you fucked up. Alright. We'll go ahead and pause it, and we'll come back when they're ready for game two. Okay, so, um, yeah. <laughs> Lord of Pancakes just quit. Meh. Mm -hmm. Head isn't in the game. Could have OTK'd, didn't. Not thinking straight right now, sorry, wow. I mean, he has the honor of just, you know, leaving instead of uh, trying to get the game. I mean, you could have came back with the game two, game three, you know? Like, I guess. Maybe maybe he's just busy. Maybe he's just not really focused. I don't know. Maybe he's like, just hey. has to get that beat by Blackman. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to go reevaluate his entire fucking life. He's like, did I just lose the Blackwings? <laughs> like, for some reason, Pepe just is getting wrecked by fucking... <laughs> Uh, Blackwings here on uh, the Endo commentary this week. It's interesting. <laughs> so uh, I guess I mean this video is already like 28 minutes, so we're just gonna go ahead and wrap it up now. So there you go. We you just saw Pepe actually lose some duels, some funny duels. And despite being the best deck, they still have a chance of losing. So uh, if you just go ahead and get them with the hate or the uh, or outplay them, you still have a chance. Now when they mm -hmm. get Infinity and notice you and all that, then I don't know. But for right now. They're not a no, you, do, you just fucking drink bleach at that fucking point. <laughs> like, fuck it. It's like, uh, it's like I'm, I'm just at a tournament and I'm just like, oh, I'm going against Pepe. You first turned to fit into me, set a whole bunch of notice. All right, let me go ahead and pop my cyanide pill now. <laughs> I fuck it. <laughs> All right, people, we're done. All right, thank you, Mal, for joining me. No problem. All right, see you guys next week with some more damn commentary. Thanks for watching.